Hey everyone, Shane here from freetechtutorials.com. I'm here today bringing your 19th Java tutorial. In this tutorial today, we're going to be looking at the switch statement. And what a switch statement allows you to do is it allows you to replace if or else if statements. Uh, if and else if statements can be great uh, when there's just a few of them, but when they get when you get more than a couple of them, they can get kind of convoluted, hard to understand, and hard to read. So a switch statement will allow us to do the exact same thing, but it looks a little cleaner. It's a little bit easier to understand. So what I've got on my screen right now is a little program that I've built where it takes the day, whatever day of the week it is, and it prints out a message to the user depending on the day of the week. Um, so as you can see right now, it just says if day of the week is equals Monday, then print this out. Else, if it's Tuesday, do this. Else, it's a win if it's Wednesday, do this, and it goes on and on. While this works just fine and it's functional, um, you can see it's a little bit hard to read and maybe hard to understand. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to use a switch statement instead. So let me go ahead and delete this here. So to do a switch statement, the first thing you need to do is you need to write the word switch, and then you're going to add in condition. So it's the word switch, open, close, parentheses, and inside the parentheses is going to be your condition statement. So this is the variable that you're going to test everything against. So you'll see what I'm talking about here. So I've got a variable created. It's a string variable named day of week, and right now it's set to Monday. So we're going to put day of week in here. And then we do open and closing curly braces, and that's going to be everything inside these curly braces is going to be our switch statement, our conditions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write the word case. So you'll also, um, people might refer to this as a case statement, so this is, or a switch case statements. That's what this is. So after the word case, we write what we want to compare to our condition. So our condition is this variable, and we're going to say, what do we want to compare? We want to make sure that this variable is the same as whatever this is, and if that matches up, then we tell him the program to do something. So since we're doing the days of the week here, we're gonna start with Monday. And then after that, we just add a colon. And we go down the line and we say right now, okay, if day of the week is equal to Monday, what do you want me to do? And that's what we're gonna tell Java right now. Well, we want you to put a, a message out to our user. So we're using system.out.out print line and we're gonna say something like everyone hates Mondays get a semicolon in there and then we're gonna write the word break down below that now the reason we write break is because we're asking this to test a whole bunch of um, our options here against this condition and we what we don't want it to do let's say we had 50 options here what we don't want it to do is if it finds one that matches we don't want it to keep going through the list because there's no need to. You already found a match. So by adding a break after each of our case statements, that'll tell the program, okay, hey, you found what you need. Get out of this case statement. You really don't need to look at everything else. So we're going to go ahead and finish this out and do the rest of the days of the week here. So Tuesday, colon, and then we'll copy this here. Change it to something like, let's see, Tuesday, well, um, at least it's not Monday. And then we can do our break statement. And then we'll do our next one here. Wednesday, colon, and for this one, Wednesday's hump day. break in there again Thursday getting closer to the end of the week here Thursday well Thursday's not a great day but at least it's almost Friday and then our break and then the best day Friday. And we'll say weekend starts tonight. All right. So there is our switch statement. So we've got here is we've got the word switch, which tells Java that hey, we're going to do a switch switch case statement here. And then we've got our condition statement here, which is um, 
a variable. It looks like I just need to do capitalization here to make that work. There we go, get rid of that error there. So it comes through and it says, okay, so I'm looking at day of the week. Right now we have day of the week set to Monday. So it's gonna come through and, and each of these ones it's gonna compare and see if they match up. So it's gonna to come to the first one here and it says case Monday. Does that equal day of the week? Well, day of the week equals Monday, so yes it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this right here. It's gonna prompt everyone hates Mondays to our user. And then it comes down here and it says, sees a break, it says, oh, hey, there's a break here. I don't need to go through the rest of these case statements. I can just go ahead and down here and move on with the rest of the program, do whatever else I need to do. Um, but what would happen, let's say, if we change this to Friday? Well, what it would do now is it would come to the first one, say, Okay, I've got Monday here. What's day of the week? Day of the week equals, equals Friday. Are those two the same? No, they're not. Okay, I'm going to move to the next one. I've got Tuesday. Does that equal Friday? No, it doesn't. So it keeps on coming down the list. And once it finds one that matches, it gets down here to Friday. It says, all right, great. I found the one. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to break out of the program, break out of the uh, switch statement and move on with my program. So let's go ahead and run this real quick and let's make sure that this works. Great, we got weekend starts tonight, which is what we had here for Friday, so that works just fine. Well, what happens if a day of our week is not in our case statement? Well, let's try it out. What if we put Saturday? What does the program do? It doesn't match any of these things. So let's find out. It does nothing, which kind of makes sense. However, what if we wanted to catch every other um, possibility besides what's in our list? Well, for that, we can actually um, use what's called a default statement. So if we write the word default, not frogs, I don't know why I do that. Default. And then enter our statement here. Let's say, well, the only other two options for days of the week would be Saturday or Sunday. So that would be the weekend. So we can do something like, it's the freaking weekend. All right. So there we go. So now what should happen is if day of the week is equal to something besides Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, it should come down here and run this. So we've got it set to Saturday right now. So let's see if that works. There we go. It did. Well, what happens if we use something else besides a weekday? Like brick. What happens then? It still uses that because it doesn't know that we're using days of the week. Java doesn't care. It just knows that, hey, you didn't match any of these things, so I'm going to use the default down here. So be careful whenever you're using this default and make sure that you realize that you may be expecting for this example someone to put in a name of day of the week, but if they put anything that doesn't match up with any of your case statements and you have a default statement, it's still going to use that default statement. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, we talked about switch statements and how you can use them here. And as you can see, they look a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to read and understand than those if else statements, those nested statements. Um, so if you like, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, make sure to check out my website, freetechtutorials.com. I've got some great quizzes and exercises on there, and I'll see you guys next time.